All right. Hello, chat. How's it going? I'm not late. I'm not late. Unless I admit to being late. I feel like that's how this works. Today, I'm not late. It's not even 101 yet. Like, as of right now, as I say it, it's not even 101 yet. You can't tell me I'm late. I'm on time. Even though, after I sat down and was about to turn my mic on, I realized that I should probably grab a sweatshirt because it's it's cold in here 101 it's 101 now 101 and five six seven seconds as of me saying it because stream delay but you know <laughs> there's like a few seconds in there of delay um but hello hello dream master uh vertig dream I almost said Dream Master twice. <laughs> Aniket, Jess, Tass, hello. It's April, how is it cold? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me, man. You don't understand where I live, okay? You don't understand. It's just, I, I don't get it. It's always cold. It's never not cold. Anyway, who's ready for some VR missions? I don't remember what exactly we were doing like what type of missions we were working through um but we'll we'll see when i get in because i mean obviously i have the giant checklist to work with um it's warming up here in minnesota i think we're supposed to get into the 70s like over the weekend so it's getting better it's getting better I forget how long this intro- I was gonna let it play, and then I remembered how long it is. <laughs> forget that it's like a three minute intro. I was like, oh, I love this intro. But it's- it's so long, and it's so tiny. Okay. 
I managed to. I thought that was the game for a second. I was like, this is the wrong video game. What? Uh, <laughs> Silver, thank you for the one month, the renewal. Thank you. Have I played any Splinter Cell games? I've played the first three, like the original and I have to remember, it's been a long time. I haven't played them probably, it was probably like seven years ago that I played the second and third one. I played the first one when I was little. My dad had it on Xbox. So I played that one when I was like a kid. Uh, and then I bought Steam copies of, I think they're called Pandora Tomorrow. Chaos Theory. Chaos Theory was the other one. I was really struggling. I've played like those three. Never beyond that. I hear that some of the more recent ones are not so awesome. I don't know though, you know, that's just what I have heard through the woodwork. Did I just so happen to like get the last stinger? Mission done or did I? Oh, no, I moved on to advanced stuff before I did time attacks. OK. I was like, that would be weird if I just so happened to like perfectly wrap up a category. Oops, before. Uh... Oh, wait, we did anyway. Yeah, so I did all the sniper stuff. We're doing advanced stinger exercises today. That's what we're doing. Worky lurky. OK. The Duke Nukem riff caught me off guard. I was like, what? Uh, hold on, I'm looking through the weather now. On Sunday, it's supposed to get up to 76 Fahrenheit. So it's... And then <laughs> next Friday, it, it's supposed to be in the 30s again. <laughs> Uh, where, what is wrong with this place? Like, I kind of, I, I have to admit, I love it. It's hilarious. Like, I like cold weather. But it is just like, bro, it's April. What, what is happening? I'm sorry, does it want me to use the stinger on this man? I can do it. It's just a little overkill, if you ask me. The new one has a different voice actor for Sam Fisher. Really? I thought his voice actor was great. I couldn't tell you who it was. But I liked his voice actor. All right, check this out. You ready? Advanced stinger tactics. Oh, I'm going to have to time it. Ha ha! <laughs> the way he fell. I, you know, I like the VR exercises. These are nice. Impressive sneak. I, I dig these, because it's just so stupid sometimes. I'm sorry, what is this wild and wacky obstacle you have thrown at me? Oh God. Huh? It's square, isn't it? Yeah. Ow! Ow! Well, this this can work, I think. No, it's not. It's gonna hit the stairs again. Oh, they can't see me. It's fine. All right, perfect. Impressive sneak. Thank you. I try my best. I thought I was supposed to like line it up through the little hole with the stairs and then it just blew up in my face. See, now how do I do this without raising the alert is the question. Do we just go for it? Yep. Oh, come on now. Uh. Huh? Oh God. These are advanced stinger exercises right here. Oh. Take that, you bitches. Stay back. Oh, he's alive. Oh, he's up. He's up. 
Beautiful. Uh, I have to get an angle for you. He doesn't seem to give a shit. To be honest, there, I did it. <laughs> Took like four missiles. Well, he took the splash of like three and then he, he did just eat one basically head on. It wasn't direct impact, but it was like six inches from his feet. Close enough. Uh, the tone of the Metal Gear games is kind of like one of the best parts. You say not so many games can be this goofy while being this serious, and it's true. I like how goofy the Metal Gear games can be. I mean, that was solid. Oh. Has the background gotten old? What background? Impressive those were easy, advanced exercises, my ass. Okay, that's all of the advanced mode stuff. Yeah, let's just, let's, let's get some time attacks done. Let's do it. These aren't that bad. They're just slightly worse. That'll do it. Working on it. Is this the the Who's VR mission in MGS1 or the VR expansion? So this is the expansion. The um the re-released version I don't think has the what's it? The VR mission like in the base game. Or I think I read something like that cuz I never knew that there was a VR mission in the base game. And I think that I read something saying that, like, the integral re-release that, uh, that came with VR missions, like, as a package just didn't have, like, that OG VR mission in the menu. I could be wrong, but I have, like, a vague memory of reading something like that. Damn. Damn. It's good enough. As long as I clear it, it doesn't need to be a top time. As long as I clear it in the limit, we're good. Um, I don't, you probably can't use the Game Shark codes. I, I would just have to guess you can't. Maybe? I would never, I'm too gamer for that shit. I wasn't when I was like, uh, Jesus. How old was I when Game Shark was still a thing? Uh, not very old. Point is, I used them when I was a kid, because of course I did. I always had my, uh, my, like, book of cheat codes and such from the, uh, like, the school book fair. That was the best. My parents probably got so sick of that shit. The school being like, hey, we're selling books for fundraisers and my ass just being like, oh my God, cheat code book, another one. Work. Please so give me cheat code book. I want it. There are, but just some of them. Oh. Oh, goodbye. This is a weird one. Oops. Snake, please. I should have reloaded that. Even though it's a little bit of a pain the way that I rebound the controls. I just, I don't have like anywhere else to put. Yeah. No, I don't. Uh, for a second, I thought there was a button that I could put the, uh, as good as they said. like, the weapon quick select on, but there's really not. I was gonna put it on select. I was like, oh, wait a second. I could just use select. Maybe a D-pad button. Hold on. Hold on. I'm thinking... Oh, no. The D-pad buttons are in use. Shit. Uh. Wait, are they? 
I don't think they are. Hold on. Let me use my keyboard for this. This menu does not love. Um. Oh, they're not. Okay. I have the solution. <laughs> it's not amazing, but it's gonna work. Are more like tutorials. Oh, you're saying that the uh, the VR missions in the base game are still here. I thought you were talking about the Game Shark codes. Good work. You're as good as they said. What? Calling they Draculich right now? That one's a stretch. That that one's a stretch in a stream where you could have gone with like who up solid in their snake right now. That one was a stretch. Oh, hello, Sepper. <laughs> Look at how speedy that was. Impressive that was sneak. amazing. Oh, come on. Nine seconds? Are you cr Who is doing that in nine seconds? I went so fast. You want me to do that in like four seconds less, basically? Ow! Forgot they had a chain reaction going on. Where's the exit? Oh no! My time! Impressive I had to get a PS3. My PC can handle it. I have a PS3. It's a pain in the ass to record off of a PS3. I have capture equipment that's capable of it. But it's a technical nightmare, so I'd really rather not. But my PC can handle it. Uh, I, I can emulate MGS4 just fine. I, I've been looking at uh, at benchmark stuff to be sure, and I, I can. <laughs> Take the hit to the life, it doesn't hurt my score. As long as we get it done, we get it done. Damn. Set them all to explode. Oh, set them all, then explode. Oh, shit. Maybe. I might do it. Oh, this one was weird, wasn't it? <laughs> Shit. Maybe I should have waited. I thought they were gonna move. What? There's more! We go, we go, we go, we go. It's fine. I got this. Mama raised a gamer. Oh wait, that's right, you hit the walls through the wall. For a second I was confused again. I was still like, how do you do this? Oh, I'm... I'm dead. Mission failed. It's nice to hear the... Uh... That's Metal Gear 1's Game Over music, isn't it? Of course, I never heard that before. I never died. You can record if you don't use HDMI. Yeah, then I would have to buy new equipment though, and it would be really expensive. That equipment nowadays, no one uses that shit, so you have to buy it secondhand, and it's the worst. My PC will be easier, is the point. Like, the footage will look better, and it's way easier to record it. Some people are like, oh, but emulation is, is so hard, and I don't know. <laughs> emulation doesn't scare me. I'm fine. If you don't use HDMI, you're trying to be different. Well, no, the PS3 and the 4 and 5, but the 4 and 5 at least allow you to disable the feature. They all have built-in... Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what the abbreviation for the protocol is, but they have a protocol in their operating system that actively prevents you from capturing footage from the HDMI port. Thank God the PS4 and 5, they give you the option to turn it off. The PS3 doesn't. So it's really not a good time to try to capture footage on a PS3 unless you go and like spend a few hundred dollars on component equipment, which just... That's not happening. Why? I don't know. There, there's really, like, there's no good reason. 
I'll keep it a buck with you. I have no idea why it's there. I have no idea why it's still in the new systems. Like, that's the crazier part, right? Not just that it was there, that it's still there in the new systems. But hello, Sticky. Damn. Trying to learn Japanese for no reason other than my own personal knowledge is a struggle. I'm also studying Japanese right now. I know you haven't been around, Sticky, but that's been my uh, free time endeavor the last few months. Although I literally just have gotten back to it after like a period of not studying it as much as I would like. Is it off by default? No. You have to disable it. You have to turn it off. It's on by default. At least on PS4. I don't know about PS5 because I don't own one. But on, I know on PS4 I had to go and turn mine off so that I could use my capture equipment. Hello? Could you? Please. We lost. So many rules and writing systems. Bro, I... The sentence structure is so difficult. Like, even just making like a statement is so hard for me to do because of the sentence structure. And even then, like, I didn't do any sentence structure until after I had to learn how to fucking read and write. By the way, Sticky, I don't know how you've approached it, but my opinion, if you are studying it without learning the particles, like if you're studying it in Romaji so that it's using Latin characters, like like our alphabet, do not do that. Start, start there. Start with the reading and writing. It's worth it. It makes things so much easier to understand long term. Don't skip that. I'll be a Japanese scholar in a few months. Are you traveling there? Oh wait, he said I I only read the beginning and end. I saw something in the middle about watching anime. He's he's shit posting. Never mind. Sepper is learning Japanese from uh, from anime, as all the best native speakers do, of course. It's the, the best way to learn. Everyone knows it. Everyone's talking about it. And I watched Death Note the other day. I know Hiragana is the main writing system. That's about it. Uh, yeah, learn Hiragana. My Hiragana is really good at this point. Um, my Katakana, not so much. I'm only just starting. Kanji, I haven't even started. But Kanji, you don't even mess with Kanji until you're pretty far in anyway. Because Kanji might as well just be... A... Kanji is a nightmare. It's just a short way to say it. The Kanji is entirely its own beast. Ah! I tried. Damn. Native Japanese use all. Yeah, that's the thing too. Is like native uh, speakers when writing in Japanese use a combination of all three. They, like, you use, um, you use hiragana, katakana, and kanji, like, all kind of mixed together. And that, I don't understand at all. I don't know why that's how it works. I haven't gotten that far. But, like, I follow a lot of, uh, like, Japanese, like, game industry professionals and stuff on Twitter, right? Like, Hideo Kojima. Just one. Yeah, where it's a Metal Gear stream, of course. 
um, and seeing it written like by native speakers, they yeah. use all three. I don't know why they use all three. Like, just inner, like, all together, but it's... Kanji is stolen from Chinese, and that's Lovecraftian language. I've heard Mandarin is, like, the the easiest, um... What, what's it? Uh, of, like, the big three, like, Asian languages, like Mandarin... Korean Japanese. I've heard that Mandarin is the easiest as an English speaker. But that's not to say that it's easy to learn Mandarin as an English speaker either. To my understanding, I think it's still pretty hard. Oh, sorry. You uh on the PC version of MGS1, the like the version that I'm playing, the PC port, you actually can aim in first person mode. Um, but it feels like cheating because it's not, the game is not made with it in mind. It also just doesn't feel very good because it was kind of just slapped on last second. Maybe the easiest, but that don't mean it's easy. Yeah, it's like, uh, I'm trying to think of a gaming comparison you know it's like being the easiest uh souls game you know it's, it's like yeah it might be the easiest souls game that doesn't mean it's an easy game by any means looking at demon souls by the way specifically at least i haven't played um dark souls 3 and sekiro i hear that those are on the easier side Depends who you ask. Some people say that Sekiro is like the hardest. But what I've been told is like, when it comes to Sekiro, it's the hardest Souls game until you figure out how the parry system works. And then once you have it down, it's the easiest. That's what I've heard. Elden Ring can be pretty damn easy. Elden Ring is kind of a weird one. Because Elden Ring has, like, the hardest boss fights, but then the rest of the game is easier because there's no level design. Or there's very little level design. Like, actual level design, I mean. Traditional level design. Huh. By the way, speaking of learning Japanese, False the other day called me a weeaboo for it. The bitch. And I was like, false. You realize I'm learning it for like, like for work because like 30% of the games industry is in Japan, right? And she was like, uh-huh, whatever you tell yourself. are hard in this game what a freaking nerd look man I'm, I'm not shy about saying that studying language as like being like that's one of my favorite hobbies I, and I'm not shy about that being one of the nerdiest hobbies to have I'm just like oh yeah I love learning languages just for the hell of it yeah it's nerdy as shit Damn. Google Translate will be advanced enough for your studies to be useless. It's not in like actual conversation. Uh, how many missions have you done? We're more than halfway through. I don't know the number because it doesn't show the number. We have a percent counter every time I go to the menu though. And we're past the 50% mark. So we're, we're doing good. It was like I said the other day, like this, a lot of people said like, oh man, VR missions is gonna be a pain in the ass. And it doesn't seem like it really is. Like it's a few hours long, sure. But it's not that bad. I thought I was cooking a grenade that whole time. Shit, I didn't cook it long enough. Fuck. 
<laughs> what anime have you been watching? None. Uh, I don't watch, um... I don't watch... I'm much anime, but I, I don't really watch TV in general, either. Like, I was gonna say I don't really watch much anime, but I really don't watch much TV. <laughs> Fucking shit. Dark Souls 3 feels way easier than 1, but maybe... Oh my god, he plays on keyboard? <laughs> Sorry, what? Um... <laughs> One of the funniest things... Uh, if anyone... I mean, it was in an Armored Core... It was a AC6 PvP stream. Um... Someone in chat came in, because a lot of the Armored Core community is also based in Japan. It's real. It's... It's pretty big in Japan. Um... And someone came into chat and in hiragana wrote Konichiwa. And I looked over at chat and I could read it. This was like two months ago or so. But I looked over at my chat and there was Japanese and I could read it. Granted, it was like the most basic word ever. But hey, that's like five whole particles that I looked at, I read, and I was able to recognize the word and know what the word meant. That was a big moment for me, all right? If you were here, I... I really, I had a moment with it where I was like, oh my god! I can read! These grenades scare me. There! Oh my god, I, I, we're gonna fail on time. This one is actually going to be hard to do with the time trial. Mm. Oh! That's a time save, boys. I'm not gonna say it. You are not a nerd. I'm sitting here talking about my Japanese, my recreational Japanese studies. Add in the context that I, I do video essays on YouTube. <laughs> As I play uh, this little Metal Gear Solid expansion pack to a hundred, I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. A big nerd. Oh my god! Where's the reset button? I know the reset button. I can do this. I'm taking one of them with me. For anime- I don't watch anime- I've watched like a few anime, animes? An is, it, is it, is it animes with an S? Are you shitting me? Is that the plural of anime? Maybe, I don't know. I've watched a few animes in my life. Boys, is not looking great on this one. Oh, are you fucking kidding? I'm throwing. Literally. <laughs> and me? Ah, of course. What well, I started playing yesterday? Ah, uh, was it... Armored Core 6. Well, oh, this is so the run. 
Oh, boys. This is so it. Oh, this is so it. I'd say anime series, yeah. maybe. Oh, like it's anime, like uh, yeah, yeah, okay. As good as they said. Okay, that was the final grenade one, thank God. I was like, it doesn't get worse than that, does it? We're at 53.3% completion in total. Claymores. Oh, Claymores. Claymores with a time limit might be something. Our Lord and Savior Project Wingman. Bro, the amount of comments that I'm still getting that are like, Project Wingman when? Skycrawlers when? Even though I pinned a comment on the video being like, hey, here's where I'm at with covering these games. And I explained it. I'm still just getting like Project Wingman. When? When are you doing Project Wingman? Where's the Project Wingman video? You need to play Project Wingman. It's unavoidable. Oh no, the exit. Oh no! The Ace Combat 7 video, weirdly... Let me get this one off of my chest, okay? The comments on the Ace Combat 7 video, mostly really good. Mostly. But it's also brought out... I hate the, the Claymores being inconsistent with that. Sucks so much ass. It has also brought out, like, all the worst of the Ace Combat fandom in one, like, last effort. Like, the last chance for however long until the new game to, uh, to get those comments in. It, it, it's brought them out in force. And it... How did they both get blown up? Good work. You're as good as they said. It, it's... In... In some cases, it's a bit of a war zone down there. Like, not even just towards me. Like there are one guy that stood out, one guy that stood out. Let me let me get this one out there. There was one guy here. Let me go find his comment. <laughs> I, I want to read the base comment that starts this. And you know what? I'm just going to I'm going to read you some things. All right, here we go. Where is it? Here, here it is, right? Yes, it's this guy. OK. Um, he says. The worst supposed comeback of a series ever. When Ace Combat Infinity was already still playable, it got shut down a month after AC7's release, but it, he's not wrong. Uh, and Ace 3DS was also still available. Game was eight years old. Uh, when an already toxic fan base that gatekeeps the hell out of this franchise and their own personal subjective biased opinions have essentially ruined any common ground and have tainted this franchise's potential future to evolve as they seem to want it to devolve. Also ignoring and dismissing any other detailed flight game in this franchise, let alone genre. Right? So basically, he, he's kind of like, it's kind of an or unorganized comment, but I think, I think there are two things that he's trying to get across here. And it's that the series wasn't really that dead. Which, it, it was borderline. I agree that it's not like an Armored Core situation where it was legitimately dead for like 11 years. But it also wasn't exactly alive either. So I, I could maybe give him that. But then the, the bigger point that it spins into is how toxic the fan base is um, about their own opinions and like how unaccepting they are of anything that doesn't align with them. Right? Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to go and find, because there are numerous, find the ones 
the comments from other people that he went and replied to and bashed them for liking Ace Combat 7. <laughs> because yes, he posted a comment about how toxic and gatekeepy the fan base is about their opinions, and then went and got pissed at people for liking the game. You can't make this shit up. Here's one where this guy is like, what a great conclusion to the series. Uh, A7 is quickly one of my top favorite games in the series, blah, blah, blah. It's a really long comment, but he's saying like, oh, I like the game. He's also just being a really nice guy where he's like, I'm looking forward to the other stuff that you work on on the channel next, right? Cheers. He ends with cheers. And then the, the same guy that I just read to you from earlier replies and is like, nice for promoting a not so good ace combat game just because it sold the most and is the latest doesn't mean it's good thumbs down emoji let me go and find more from him because i know there were a bunch of them if i just open the replies to any positive comment <laughs> i'm assuming he's gonna be there he is there uh again this this comment's like four paragraphs this guy wrote me a great long thoughtful comment but I'll read you the first bit of it where he's like, Ace Combat 7 will always have a special place in my heart. It was also my very first Ace Combat game. And then he literally like tells me his story about getting into the game. Good comment. He, he enjoys the game. Point being. That guy commented, too bad you didn't fall in love in quotes with the first game in the series and it wasn't your introduction. Skull emoji. Like, you can't make this shit up. This guy comments just in general on the video and is like, this fan base now sucks because everyone is so toxic to each other about their opinions on the games. And then immediately after posting his comment about that, goes and fucking attacks people in the comments who like the game. Do you hear yourself? You're crazy. Like, are you, do you? Self-awareness? Is it present? Is there any self-awareness here? Is it dead? What has happened? What, what is happening? His combat community is so gatekeepy, proceeds to gatekeep. I genuinely, like, I saw those comments and I was, well, at first I just saw the comment and I was like, okay. You know, like I've just doing these videos certainly had an experience with like a toxic side of the community, but it doesn't seem to be like the majority of the community or anything. And then like I, I'm going and like reading the replies to other people's comments because I'm, you know, I'm curious like about the total discussion, right? And I see this guy just bashing people for liking the game. And I'm like, does it, does it compute? Do you think? Do you think <laughs> my brother was on my account? <laughs> it's just so crazy to me, dude. It when I when I tell you guys, it's every video series, by the way. I, I don't want this to come across as like this is only Ace Combat. These people exist in every gaming community. Every review series I've done, regardless of the series have had these people like this is not something that only happens in one community by any means um <laughs> but like genuinely it was just so like <sighs> like it you almost think that it's satire <laughs> like you, you, you're like is this like a is he like playing a character i, I don't <laughs> Do you have examples? Not recent, because the reason I'm able to pull that up is because it happened in the last day. Because YouTube sorts it by recent. Um, if, if you want examples for the Metal Gear series, since that would be on topic, if you just went and browsed the comments section on the MGS3 video, you'd find a ton of it. The MGS3 video is one of the most co uh, toxic comment sections I've ever had on a video. Hands down. Like, the MGS3 video is wild. 
I got a ton of stuff on the Armored Core videos back when I did those too. Um, actually, Armored Core got even crazier. Although I guess with Ace Combat, there's there's something not quite as crazy, but with Armored Core, I've told this story before. And I, before anyone is like, who's the guy? I have also just not said his name, but if you really wanted to do your internet detective stuff, you could probably find it. Back when I put up my Armored Core 5 video, um, there was a prominent creator in the Armored Core scene who disagreed with, with some of the things that I had said in the video. And so he went and like made a, he, he wrote a tweet this guy followed me on Twitter, which is the only reason that I found this. He wrote a tweet without like tagging me or like referring to me specifically or anything, but very clearly like uh, discrediting my work on the series and like my opinions on the games. TLDR, he was like, if you're a new player, like you you haven't been playing armored core since back in the day and you came in like with this new like souls wave like the new fromsoft fan wave then like your opinions on these games do not matter and he then like in the replies and stuff people were like what is this about question mark cuz it, it just it was a random tweet and he was like just a really bad youtube video <laughs> Uh, and a lot of people in the replies of it who just immediately picked up on what he was referring to were also uh, just straight up like, yeah, this guy's opinions are so, like, that I, this dude does not understand Armored Core. The, those videos piss me off so much. I'm just like, I started a shitstorm on Armored Core Twitter because I said that Armored Core 5 was actually kind of fun. And I liked it. It's weird too. Uh, more often than not. Sorry, I'm only just consciously putting this together. More often than not, my videos that piss people off aren't the ones where I don't like the fan favorite. Like it's not the Ace Combat Zero video that pisses people off. Or, I, I mean, I like Ace Combat Zero, right? I do. But it, the ones where I say that, like, maybe the fan favorite isn't my favorite, those videos aren't the ones that go down the worst, like, get the worst reactions. It's the ones where I have positive things to say about a game that the fandom generally doesn't like. Those are always, like, the videos that really piss people off. What the hell? How did that one way in the back just blow up? Uh-oh, this time limit. The claymores on a time limit are kind of hard just because I have to be reacting to things or like planning ahead properly. So trying to go in without knowing it ahead of time makes it a little tricky. I don't think that's gonna kill it. God damn it. Not to mention that MGS1 claymores are very precise. Like very exact in like how you have to set them up and everything to actually hit the target. Shit. Um, but no, like the, the Armored Core 5 video was the big controversial one of that series. Um, now that the Ace Combat series is done, the most controversial video of that series was the Joint Assault one, where I was like, you know, a lot of people say this is the worst one, but like, I kind of like it. I think this is certainly better than some. That, that did not go over well. Um, and so, Metal Gear is the exception. So far, the most controversial Metal Gear video is MGS3. Definitely the most pushback so far has been 
me saying that MGS3 is a really damn good game and it's really fun and I really liked it, but I liked MGS1 and 2 more. That, that one, that, that didn't go well. Not to say that no one agreed and that everyone disliked it, but... You still rated it the worst out of all the 3D ACs? Did I? Were my scores that consistently high? Like even back at the beginning? Trying to think. I know that AC3 scored a little better. Not much better. Didn't I give AC3 a 7-5? Maybe I'm misremembering. Oh, Assault Horizon I scored lower. Because Assault Horizon is a big, stupid, fun game, but like, if you start picking it apart, it, it falls apart pretty quickly under like actual analysis, right? Shit, fucking. Yeah, yeah, Assault Horizon was somewhere, I think it was six, eight. Off, I don't remember exactly, it's hard. I had Assault Horizon and Join Assault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Join Assault was the second PSP game, X2. Uh, Join Assault is the more common thing that people call it, because in the West, it didn't even have the X2, like, tagline on it. It just was Ace Combat Join Assault. In Japan, it was called X2. Not over here, though. TLDR on all this. So far, like all of the gaming communities that I've done review series for have been on the whole great. But none of them are immune to having really obnoxious like groups and oftentimes just straight up toxic groups within the fandom. Six is good. Oh, you know what was one of the... This was one of the smaller things. Um, this didn't go over anywhere near as well. Or sorry, as poorly as the Joint Assault video. This People didn't have the strong reaction to it that the Joint Assault video got. But do you want to know what was one of the most controversial statements I made during the review series? Like single statements that I was very surprised uh, people were upset about. Speaking of Ace Combat 6, it was when I said that I liked Shamrock. People were not happy that I liked Shamrock as a wingman. A couple people were. There were some people who were like, finally, Shamrock getting the, the respect he deserves. But most people were like, fuck. What? What do you mean you like Shamrock? He's the worst! Oh, please. Yeah! Shamrock is great, man. People do not seem to Damn. agree, generally. That was a lot. That was a lot, a lot. A different opinion is, is unusual. I get that. But, um... <laughs> here, I hope that I still have this. This one will be very easy to find even though it's a month old. Because one of the responses to this comment got held for review because someone used a gamer word in it. So, as long as it's like less than two months old, I should be able to see it. Yeah, there it is, there it is. I've read this comment before. And this is like a five paragraph comment. I'm gonna read the opening paragraph and the closing paragraph on this comment because you get the point. In the middle is like specific examples, but let me give you the gist of this comment on the MGS3 video. 
I, I feel like a lot of people here have seen it. A lot of people here know that I gave it like a 9.1 and I said it's probably my second favorite game just on personal enjoyment, but I can only like score it as the third best because I think it has some design flaws that I, I can't really look over, right? That was the general takeaway. All right. Now let me read you this response to that. I've enjoyed your reviews thus far, but you've been unfairly, even unreasonably critical in this review. So disgusted by this review, I only made it halfway, then I made note of your username to ensure that I never watch one more second of your pretentious reviews. I, I gave it a... A 9.1. That's like the... I think the third highest score I've given in a video on the channel. <laughs> that stung. <laughs> that one. Oh, I read it and I was like, wow. You made an enemy? Yeah. They're as good as they said. Is that? Oh, it was. Why is it third? Why not second place? I'm on the mark, man. Okay. Sounds funny more than hurtful. It, it was kind of just so like overly dramatic that I, I saved it. I sent it to, uh, to false because I thought it was a funny one. Higher than all the other MGS games. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, do you realize what you're saying? I gave MGS2 a 9-6 DS. Do you know how hard it is for me to score something that high? It's the highest number score I've given in a video so far. You think I'm gonna give it a 9-7? Didn't give it a 20 out of 10, so therefore you hate it, yes. Unfairly critical. Only a 9-1. Just wait till you play it, okay. <laughs> At least he's not watching something he doesn't like. True. But it, it was worth pointing out just cause it's like, that was a pretty positive review where I, I did, you know, I brought up some things that I thought were fairly flawed. But on the whole, like, it was a positive review. Oh, shit. This one is hard. You can't put me on a time limit for this one, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> You playing the PSP version? I think so. I think so. Because I know there's an HD port version. But... I don't know. What was the original frame rate of Peace Walker? Because that... It might sound stupid, okay? But what was it? Did it run at 20 FPS on the P uh, on the PSP version? Was 30, okay. Because I'm working on the portable ops video. There's no more mystery here, okay? I'm working on it. And portable ops runs at 20 FPS on the PSP. Portable, op uh, Portable Ops never got an HD port either, to my knowledge. And if it ran at that low of a frame rate, like 30, 30 feels good. 30, it's not amazing, but 30 feels good. Definitely good enough to play and enjoy, right? However, 20 frames per second. <laughs> I don't think that people... Like, if you haven't played, like, Ocarina of Time or maybe, like, Portable Ops actually on a PSP, I don't think that people understand what playing an entire game on 20 FPS feels like. If you haven't experienced it, it's... Eesh. Now, what I can also tell you is that when you play on... PPSSPP, which of course I am for like upscaling and all that, like I did with the acid videos, right? 
you can actually mod the game to get it running in 60. But here's the thing. If the game felt super clunky to play, like, back when it came out, I'm interested to experience that for myself. You know what I mean? Like, I, I can't just fix it and act like it never happened when I'm doing a video talking about how the game was, like, when it came out. Right? Like, that's kind of... As great as it is to look at, like, the best version of the game available, the original version, in my opinion, can be more interesting a lot of the time, because you get, like, the actual flaws and stuff that the game came out with. Like, I could have played the HD port, the, the blue point port of MGS3 for the video, and not had the camera issues. But... Then I would be ignoring like one of the, uh, like a really big fundamental issue that the game originally came out with when it was released you know like a lot of people even in the comments after i said that in the video they were like i have no idea why we'd ever play the original version it's like that's why because the game like they put the game out like that like that's how I want to evaluate it. It's like, what did you put out into the world? Wah! Fuck! It's so hard to steer this thing in first person. Oh my god. The spatial awareness with like the PS1 hitboxes. Look how much better that is. There we go. Jesus Christ. A combination yeah. of the two is key on that one. I played you Ocarina were. on a GameCube. Oh. Uh, it was 20. My memory had erased the fact. DS, it, it's it got to be the PSP version, man. First person was so much better. No, when I'm trying to like round those corners and I can't see the missile... I, I can't really wiggle it quite right, you know? Like, I, I end up hitting the wall when I don't mean to. I got this. Sniper time. Where the fuck is my target? Why are we looking all the way out there, Snake? What are you doing? Well, what are we... Snake! What... Uh... There. Progress. We don't have time. Thanks to all of your fucking wiggling around. Oh, third person. Third person there. Because it's, it's just the spatial awareness thing. Like, it kind of depends on what the challenge is with the uh, Nikita. Some of them, I do want the first person. Like, when it's going through tunnels and stuff, I don't know what's in that tunnel. But if I have, like, a clear top-down view... Um... Then I can just... I can round corners and stuff like that so much easier. More people played Peace Walker in 60? You're not gonna convince me. Uh, I could get my hands on the HD collection. I, I know a buddy of mine has the PS3 HD collection sitting around. So for stream, I, I'll... Because for portable ops, I think when I stream it, I'm probably gonna use the 60 FPS fix. I don't need to play it in 20 twice, all right? Like, <laughs> I can do my evaluation that way. I own the HD collection. Yeah, I don't think, like, I think you're right that more people would have played it on that collection. But like, they really put the game out capped at 20. Although to be fair, I'm assuming that it's because 
much like Portable Ops, it's running literally just in MGS3's engine on the PSP, which is why Portable Ops runs at 20. Because they, they fucking just threw the MGS3 engine onto a PSP. Like, that was gonna work. I mean, it kinda worked in 20 FPS. I will mail it to you. you no, I, I have a buddy like 20 minutes from me who has it. I'll, I'll go pick it up from him. When I need it. Who knows, maybe Master Collection Volume 2 will be out by then. Right? No cope? You guys know, didn't... Didn't the Master Collection come out back in, like, September? Correct me if I'm wrong on this one, chat. Wasn't it September? Where is Volume 2? Did they actually, like... Did work on Volume 2 not start until after Volume 1 came out? Like, how long is the gap gonna be? Genuine question. Because I, you know, if there was like a few months of time in between, it would be like, okay, yeah, sure. Put out one, make the money, and... Not announce? Yeah, like, we don't even have a date for Part 2. You're as good as they said. I'm really curious about Volume 2 in terms of what's gonna be in it and what's not gonna be in it. Probably timing it with Delta's release, maybe. Uh, it's true that they have to do more work. They can't just emulate MGS4, it won't work. Like, they can try to just emulate, uh, what's it, MGS4? But I doubt that like the PS5 version would run very well if they did that, or even the PC version on most systems, to be honest. Most people's PCs can't emulate MGS4 well. Like you, you've got to have a bit of a chunky build these days to get it smooth. Thankfully, I just went all out on a work PC back in like August, so I'm going to be able to handle it for doing the review and stuff. I'll be able to get my nice, like, 60 FPS 4K footage for the video and everything. But most people, yeah. like, you know, we're kind of getting around to the point yeah. where the hardware that you need to run it smoothly is, like, mid-end now, but, like, mid-end if you were to build a PC, like, this year, right? It's becoming more easily emulatable. The power of the cell, it's like crisis. Um, we'll see you around, Silver, whenever you're back. If you're back. Don't rush. I eat slow. Um, will be MGS4, Peace Walker, Ground Zeroes, and 5. It would be so crazy to me if MGS5 is in there. And Ground Zeroes. Because I, like, I'm kind of... People have asked if I think it will be in there. And the honest answer is like, I don't really know if I think it will be in there. Because on one hand, it's like the master collection, right? So if it's not there, you're missing a pretty big piece of the mainline series, right? But at the same time, in my mind, when I look at collections like this, the main reason for collections like this is to put out games that are not available on the current systems in a convenient and like good package. So, I don't think MGS5 needs to be there. Yeah, because it, you can already just pick it up on Steam or like the PS4 shop. Uh, Xbox store, Xbox has backwards compatibility. I don't know how the PlayStation version is with that, but I know Xbox, uh, Xbox One games run on series consoles. So, like on Xbox, you can just play the original version still. On Steam, you can just play the original version. You don't need the Master Collection for it, right? That's kind of why it's a question mark for me. It's like, in terms of being the complete collection, it would need to be there. But I feel like that kind of collection is mostly 
for more the sake of like availability rather than literally just having everything in one package but maybe they they are going for that i don't know i don't know but then the real question mark with volume two for me is like what about like i i would say portable ops is pretty likely because i i think peace walker will be on it but then it's like okay if, if peace walker is going to be on it there's, there's a solid chance that portable ops will be on it right like if they're gonna port Peace Walker, although actually pause, I'm giving Konami too much credit. Rewind. Not the greatest chance now that I'm really thinking about it because you know what Konami's gonna do with Peace Walker? They're gonna throw in the Blue Point version. They're not gonna port the PSP per uh, the, 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 the version. They're gonna throw in the Blue Point version. So they would have to do extra work to get portable ops in there because they would actually have to port the PSP version. The Acid Games. A lot of people are saying like, oh, these better be in Master Collection 2, like in the comments of those videos that I've done. I kind of doubt they will be. I think it would be awesome if they were because it would give people a really convenient way to actually like check out the Acid Games. And I think more people should check out the Acid Games. Um, but I kind of doubt that, that Konami's going to put in the work to port them. Only MGS4 needs porting with the list I made, I think. Well, they all need porting. I mean, look at the way that the 3D games in, uh, Master Collection Volume 1 run. They all have issues that are unique to the Master Collection version, and it's, well, except for MGS1, and then that's just like, I don't even want to talk about MGS1 in the Master Collection. Because it is the simplest thing that just pisses me off so much for no reason. Um, but like, MGS2 and 3 have problems. You know why? Because Konami didn't do enough work to actually like, fix the things that would arise from them just trying to throw it over to a new console new systems and also for some reason they compress the shit out of the audio files for mgs3 and that shit sounds absolutely deep fried it sounds so bad i don't know what happened there i mean i get that like there's a lot of audio files and if you don't know like audio files in games make up a lot of the install size because like if an individual audio file not very big but when you add up like all the voice lines and all the different audio effects and stuff that are playing at any given time in like a metal gear solid game it gets pretty big so i understand why they compressed stuff for the sake of like the install size and everything but oh my god, your game sounds like shit. <laughs> like, when I hear the Master Collection version of MGS3, I'm like, oh, sweet Jesus. What happened? And I know what happened. It's just like, who let this happen? Right? It would work. They're as good as they said. They were incredible in the 90s and thousands. It's, it's so weird. Cause it kind of, it feels like Konami's big problem is literally just their refusal to do any amount of work that is beyond the bare minimum. Like that, that is genuinely Konami's problem nowadays. They're like that kid in school who, you know, would do just enough to get like a 60% on everything so that he would pass. Like, they do just enough to be able to, like, sell the product and convince people to actually buy it, but absolutely nothing beyond that point. Like, that's where they stop. Like, they, you know, oh, we got the HD version of MGS3 running on the new consoles and PCs. They sell it, and then it comes out, and everyone's like, what happened? Why... Uh, why are my speakers blowing out when I start up the game and there's no audio slider? And they're like, oh, our bad, we'll, we'll patch that. And people are like, oh, and why does it sound so bad? Like, why, how, how much did you compress it? And just no comment. That one would be a lot to fix because they would have to 
actively replace the audio files with the uncompressed ones. So that one, they just, there's not even like any word about it. They just ignored that. <laughs> like it never happened. If you don't acknowledge it, it's not true. It can't hurt you if you don't acknowledge it. Uh, uh, God damn it. Damn. It's not our partner in the next group project. It, it's rough, man. Because they, they have a lot of great, like, legacy franchises that even if they're not... Um... Even if they're not, like, actively ongoing, like Metal Gear, right? Metal Gear is a dormant franchise aside from, like, Delta. And even then, it's a remake, right? So, largely, we, we can all, like, agree to say that Metal Gear is a dormant franchise, right? Last game was 20... 17, but, you know, that was... Was it 17? What year was Survive, chat? I don't know it off the top of my head. That was the whole thing. The last mainline title was 2015. Um... They, they could, you know, do some good re-releases with that. Make a lot of people happy. But, like, what we get is not like a high quality re-release we get, you know. How how much do we have to do to convince you to spend 60 bucks? It's unfortunate. And also, I, I am absolutely holding, I'm pulling no punches anymore on the Master Collection discourse because Maybe slightly unpre uh, unprofessional for me to say. I reached out to them for a key for the Master Collection. I didn't get one. So I yeah. was kind of holding my tongue for a bit. Now I'm just, I'm fully yeah. like, okay. I'm not getting a key anyway. I, I was just going to talk my shit after I got the key. Like after I had played it on stream and covered it on the channel. Then I would criticize it. But now it's just like, okay. I have no reason to hold hold my my thoughts anymore. Konami versus Ubisoft. Ubisoft wins. And when I'm saying that, that means a lot. I hate Ubisoft. Everyone knows that I I have such a strong distaste for modern Ubisoft. They win in, in that in that exchange. They win. Good enough? Good enough? Open the exit? Oh my god, he's not dead. Damn. Follows the adventures of John to Snake. It's weird to me. Like, I get that Kojima was, like, the core of the franchise. But also, from what I've seen so far... Impressive uh, Doing the review series. As much as he was the core of the mainline titles, there were also, like, already just up to the point that I've gotten to, there are so many spin-offs that he didn't direct that are still really, like, enjoyable and have their own qualities to them. And I don't understand why they kind of just haven't done anything with Metal Gear since... Losing Konami, I, I guess like they tried survive and that blew up in their faces, but like From what I understand, that's not exactly what I would call like a great attempt at doing a spin-off It seems like they took the base game of MGS5 and just live serviced it Doesn't seem like it's particularly awful But EA canned the Dead Space 2 remake? Did, I didn't hear this news. Did they actually can it? Have they canceled the Dead Space 2 remake? Hold on. I didn't hear about this. This has to be fairly recent, right? News from today. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Did they actually cancel it?
<laughs> okay, so EA has made a statement. Um... Um, okay. So EA made a statement about it to IGN where a spokesperson told them that there is no validity to the rumors of a Dead Space 2 remake being in development. Um... <laughs> That could mean that's that's weird. That's weird. I'm trying to figure out what I say and don't say. <laughs> Hold on. As I read for any further details, I might be able to uh, to get from this. Shut down the crew servers without giving a single player patch. I've been up to date on that story. Did you guys know that Sony is issuing refunds for the crew because of that, regardless of when you bought it? Like people who bought the crew back in 2015 are getting refunds from Sony for it. So if you fall into that category, go for it. Get your, uh, I would assume 60 bucks. I don't know if that is what it sold for, but uh, get that money back. Uh, okay, so essentially EA has said that there's no validity to the rumors that, uh, that there is a Dead Space 2 remake in development. That, that's all that, that has been said. The fact that they said that does lead me to believe that uh, there is legitimately no validity to it. However... Comma. I happen to know some people who work at the EA uh, offices in Orlando. I used to live there. I have friends in the dev scene in Orlando. A couple of them happen to be at the EA office. And I was under the impression that that was something that was happening. I am not saying particularly, necessarily, that I was under that impression from those friends, of course, but I was generally under the impression that the Dead Space 2 remake was happening. So it might have been shut down. That, that would be, I would assume that it is actually shut down. But... From what little knowledge and what yeah. I definitely haven't heard. Damn. I think that there was a remake in development at one point, at the very least. I think that saying there is no validity to it would be disingenuous. Not that I would know. Anyway, C4, motherfucker. <laughs> Sony can do the right thing from time to time, amazingly. I thought it was really funny that they were actually giving refunds for it. How many missions left? Uh, we're above 60%. I don't know exactly how many. Oh, no. Didn't I do the exact same thing the first time I played this one, last stream? Didn't I do that exact sequence of events? Hold on, I got this. Oh, I can't have the C4 equipped, can I? Oh, it's back here? Why? to run while aiming by holding crawl uh for the socom missions are we done ranting oh yeah, yeah that we, we finished with that a while ago
I like talking about that stuff on stream. Because, I, I mean, for a lot of people, uh, you don't get to see that stuff like the way that I get to see it, right? You don't, you don't get that perspective. In the sense of like, when it comes to gaming fandoms, you could be, like, just talking in, like, one of the smaller, more positive groups of the fandom, right? And you might think that the fandom is great, like, just on the whole. Uh, but there's always, always the group that's not great. And in the position that I'm in, I, I get all the groups. I get to hear thoughts and opinions from all groups. So I like to share those those wilder uh, individuals on stream and kind of highlight it because it's just like, yeah, th this is in every community. Like it's it's an unavoidable thing, genuinely. Like, what the fuck? There is not a fandom that doesn't have that group, right? Mario, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Stream chat is the good group, uh, group though, right? Mostly. Yes. I, I am sowing the seeds for civil war when I say mostly. Yes. <laughs> Chat's like, no, I'm the good one. I I'm the, no, I'm the good one. Ah! The rumors of there being a Xenosaga remake in the works? I haven't heard anything about it. But I'm not very um, in the loop on the JRPG scene. So me not hearing anything about it shouldn't like be a surprising thing or be like, oh, you know, don't take that as like, oh, I haven't heard it, so I, I doubt that it's happening. It's just, I, I, I'm i not really in the know with what's going on in that scene. I, I don't follow it. And I don't know anyone who works in it either, so that doesn't help. Like, I do have my, uh, my you know, industry friends here and there, but I don't, I don't have any of them that work, like, in the JRPG genre. Bro, how do you want me to do this in 45 seconds? Oh, I plant all of them. I'm the bad one. I'm stupid. I forget that you can kind of set them all up and then go. You get one. And you get one. And you get one. And you get one. I'm like, Oprah. Beautiful. Right? Oh, I heard the exit open. Where is it? You get a C4. And you get a yeah. C4. Maybe Chol is the bad one. Yeah, that's why I share their comments on stream. Because I'm so toxic. I also only just realized that I forgot to do the, the screen offset. Hold on. Let me do it. Oh, look who showed up. I want it to be at like 270. There. Um, five games worth of script was condensed into two games. That doesn't sound shocking, to be honest. That... <laughs> That is a very believable thing. Cause like, you know what doesn't typically go super well in like the pitching and green lighting stage? Is like, hey, I would like to secure like the budget and the go ahead for six games with this idea, please. Unless you're like Call of Duty, it's not gonna go well. You know, the COD devs can be like, hey, we want to make a new trilogy, like, over the next nine years. And Activision will be like, okay. We smack Call of Duty's name on it, boom. Sales. Doesn't matter what it is. 
but like any of the rest of the industry, it normally doesn't go super well. FAMAS is fun while running. I don't need it. I don't need it. Unless I'm doing like the, the bit where you have to run up tower A. I don't need it. Okay, maybe here. Although I do... I do... I, I get an ammo bonus, you guys. On my time. And my time is clearly so important to the overall completion. As you can see. Bum, 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 bum. Also, I forgot to read it out loud, but I saw someone bring up Ninebreaker earlier. In comparison to this game. And it's a pretty accurate comparison. Ninebreaker is worse, but accurate comparison. Impressive. We're at 64%. We're cooking. We're cooking. We're going. Fast progress is being made. Oh, see this one though? Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start firing before I run across. Oh my God, the hit stun. Okay, maybe, maybe I don't shoot before running. At least you don't have to gold all the missions. Yeah, 100 percenting it's gonna be. Dude, when I did the video for Ninebreaker and I was complaining about needing to complete all of them, that was only completing them. That wasn't like 100%ing the game, getting gold on everything. That was literally just passing the test. 100%ing Ninebreaker is gonna be the worst. It's gonna be awful. Because some of those challenges are fucking hard. Like, really hard. Like, comedically difficult. Even just to complete once with, like, a bronze medal. Like, you would think that Miyazaki worked on, uh... On Ninebreaker, even though he wasn't at the company yet. You would think he directed that shit sometimes. What Metal Gear do I think has the best in terms of character writing? So far, character writing. Um, probably MGS1 in terms of character writing. If not, hmm. Where'd he go? I don't know. MGS2 and 3 kind of share a problem with their character writing. Um, in the sense that they have good characters, but they kind of struggle with tying all of the characters into like the yeah. central themes of the game, the way that like MGS1 does, yeah. right? Like the characters aren't bad by any means, but they're just not on the level that MGS1s were, right? I would say behind MGS1 in terms of character writing is probably MGS2. I think MGS2 does a much better job of that. But MGS3 really drops the ball with that, like on the whole. I think that that's one of, is that a controversial thing to say? That like the majority of the characters in MGS3 while super entertaining and likable in their own rights, um, kind of drop the ball in terms of like being tied into the central themes of the game. Is that controversial or is that like a pretty generic take? Like the, the Cobra unit kind of just feels like, a, you know, they, they're all super entertaining and they all have like super distinct personalities and everything. But despite all the character that they do have, they aren't like pushing forward central ideas within the plot, like on an individual basis, the way that like the Foxhound unit in MGS1 is. Right? 
And like MGS2 was kind of 50-50. MGS2 had a similar problem where like Vamp and Fat Man? Not really. But Fortune, yes. So it's like MGS2 was, was kind of like bordering on that already. Like if I had to say one of them was better, I would say MGS2 is a little better in that regard. But it's not great in that regard either. Oh my god. Fuck. Why? Showing your opinions after 100% in AC games. Maybe. Probably. Definitely for Armored Core. I have so many new opinions on <laughs> Armored Core games already. From the 100% series. What about Acid? <laughs> Acid 1? Excellent yes. Acid 2? Not so much. Find meaning and stuff? Probably. It, it's kind of that thing where like on the first playthrough of MGS 1 and 2, you can you can pick up on all of that that is there with, with regards to MGS2. Like what little there is, you can pick up on it on the first time through. MGS3, it's kind of cryptic, kind of hidden in there. Like you really have to dig for it. I, I won't assume that it's not there at all. Like there's a great chance that I just, you know, I didn't pick up on it. Cause like on a first playthrough, it's just not conveyed as well. But even then, like, uh, that's a whole thing. Do I think they're replaceable? What do you mean? Replaceable, how so? Which acid do you like the most? I mean, acid 2 is a much more enjoyable experience to play. Like, the gameplay is so much smoother. But acid 1's story is definitely a lot better. So it's kind of a, a coin toss. It just kind of depends what we're talking about. Like, I would rather replay Acid 2. Because I'm more of a gameplay-oriented person in general. But Acid 1 definitely beats Acid 2 story-wise. Acid 2's story gets a little... out there. Hmm. That they could be anyone else and have the same importance? For the most part, yes. Um, uh, the, well, I mean, in, in terms of fiction, like all, all of the characters could convey the same themes, even if they weren't that character, right? Like you could have Sniper Wolf be an entirely different person, but still convey the same themes that Sniper Wolf does if you just replace her. But... Uh, like, in that sense, I think that the end, the end was kind of a weird one. Because with the end, <laughs> okay, I, I remember thinking this, and I kind of just forgot about it until now. The end, while he's dying, starts to echo some of, uh, MGS2's core theming of like passing things down to the next generation. But that theming isn't present in the rest of MGS3. I thought that that was super weird when I picked up on that. I'm like, why does he randomly say that? I, like it struck me as being really bizarre. Yeah, I was gonna say the sorrow and obviously the boss can't be replaced. The end is kind of weird. Um, the fear and the pain. Sorry, I struggle to rem remember his uh, emotion. The fear and the pain could definitely just be any other goober with uh, camouflage powers or bee powers, and it wouldn't matter. Grenade tech, 
Suck it, bitches. <laughs> Get grenade teched, loser. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to grenade tech you too. Not really the core theme of MGS3, but it's weird because it's the core theme of MGS2. So it's really weird. <laughs> that, like that was what struck me as being so strange about it. Was that for some reason, the end just randomly like echoes the core theme of the previous mainline game despite that theme not being present anywhere else in three. Incoming person who thinks that the, the core theme of MGS2 is uh, the digital age. Because he's an old guy who cares. Yeah, I just, I thought it was super weird. Because, like, it, it, I can see that it's just kind of like, yeah, that, that coincidence of, like, well, yeah, he's just, he's an old man and he's dying. So, like, he's, his brain just goes there naturally. And I get that. But the fact that it is the core theme of the previous game, to me, made it feel really weird that he said that in his death scene. Grenade tech. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, this one's... I'm gonna have to, like, get the timing right on that first grenade. Uh-oh. We can throw these bitches anywhere. It doesn't matter, does it? Eventually. Oh, shit. I mean, it does matter. I'm joking. Any Metal Gear game has reasons not to have a sequel. Oh, this is this is gonna get a little ranty. I got a number of people on the MGS2 video saying that they dislike MGS2 because it's not a sequel that Kojima ever wanted or planned to make when he made MGS1. There is a... Um, either a lack of knowledge behind that statement, or there is, I, I don't know how better to put it, um, something about Metal Gear 2, and by extension, literally every Metal Gear game to come after the original, Kojima never planned to make a sequel to Metal Gear at all. Like, until a, a couple years later. Like, Metal Gear Solid 1 was never intended from the start. Like, he... That, that came later. So it's really weird to be like, oh, this game... I don't like this game because this game never was originally intended to exist. None of the Metal Gear games post Metal Gear 1 were ever supposed to exist. That's a really weird reason to like write off the entire product. Oh my God, they like all come together for a moment. That's news. That changes things a bit. 
So like, if you point being, if you think that Metal Gear Solid 2 is a bad sequel because it was never intended to exist after Metal Gear Solid 1, then by that logic, you can't enjoy Metal Gear Solid 1 or Metal Gear 2. Because MGS1 also, like after Metal Gear 2, shit was kind of wrapped up for a while. There's that eight year gap in there because, you know, he went and worked on other things again. Or MGS, yeah, like literally anything to come after MGS, or sorry, Metal Gear 2. Like it's not untrue that MGS2 wasn't like planned to ever happen. There, like it's, it's completely true to say that when MGS1 was made, there was no like follow up planned for it. But at the same time, like that's just A, a strange reason to completely write off a product, and B, like I said, there, there's a fundamental flaw in that logic. If you're like, oh, MGS1 is good, MGS2 is not because it was never supposed to exist. MGS1 was never supposed to exist. Konami ordering other people to make a sequel of Metal Gear? Yeah, it's because like the, like Snake's Revenge for a while was the sequel to Metal Gear 1 because Kojima wasn't gonna make one. So Konami had uh, one of their like NES studio, the same studio, sorry, their team rather. Team, my terminology is going all over the place. This grenade challenge is making me lose my shit. Um, had the same team that did the port make an actual sequel because Kojima just wasn't going to make one. And the game sold well on NES in the Western region, so they were like, hey, this is money. Uh, big boy tutor, thank you for the sub. There's the cliffhangers too. Yeah, the cliffhangers are kind of weird because like he has straight up said in interviews that he never wanted to make a sequel after Metal Gear Solid. But then there is the thing of like, he put a cliffhanger in that bitch. That directly led into, I guess, what MGS2 eventually became. I guess he probably just put that in as like a bit of mystery after the fact. And maybe like, I, I don't know. Because then like with the cliffhanger being there, it's kind of weird to even look at the statement of him saying that he never wanted to make a sequel to Metal Gear Solid because he set up a cliffhanger for a sequel, right? Oh my God, I was, I cooked it too long. None of them died, God damn it. But they're all standing on it. Might work out, let's see. This throw is the worst, oh my God. I really don't like the grenade challenges. Grenades and claymores, hate them. These challenges are the worst so far. Cause that's what movies do and he wants to make movies. It kind of does feel like either him saying that MGS2 was never supposed to happen is like revisionist history or giving him more credit. He just put in like a little post credits like tease for a sequel because it feels more like an actual movie that way. Ah, ah, if it works, it works. Where's the other one? Where is he? Uh oh. Oh, he's dead. Oh, thank God. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Damn. <laughs> the celebration into damn. Uh, I love the games, but honestly do not like Kojima himself for how pretentious he is. I kind of find him endearing in that sense. But also like the thing with Kojima and kind of being up his own ass, which like I can be completely honest. 
he is a little up his own ass, especially nowadays. Very much so. I, I won't act like he's not. But at the risk of being that guy, it's kind of because he's earned it. Like, he's Hideo Kojima, <laughs> you know? Like, he is pretty pretentious and up his own ass, but like, have you seen his portfolio? Like his, his body of work, right? It's kind of because he gets to be in a way. That being said, it's not exactly likable when anyone does it, regardless of whether they have like earned it or not in quotes. But you can kind of see how like, I feel like a lot of the time when someone acts that way, it's obnoxious because they think more highly of them. Like they think of themselves as being, I don't know what the word is, better than they are. Like they think so highly of themselves, like to a kind of delusional extent. Kojima's not like that. Like he's, he's pretentious because like he's Hideo Kojima, you know? Shoulder shrug. I can go either way on it. It's kind of annoying, but you know, I don't know a single person who likes anything he's made outside of Metal Gear. What are you talking about? Like Snatcher or Police Knots? People love that shit, especially Snatcher. Like I, I have to play Snatcher someday because I hear it's phenomenal. Death Stranding? Yeah, Death Stranding, for sure. Have you seen all the hype around the, the trailer? The new Death Stranding 2 trailer? It's actually kind of funny that I forgot Death Stranding in there. Death Stranding, absolutely. Actually, just recently, one of my buddies, Silent Hills never came out, we can't count it. Fuck you, Konami. Um, what was what was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my buddies recently played Death Stranding for the first time, who hasn't played a Metal Gear game. It was his first Kojima game. So he has no like bias going into it. But you know what he told me? Cause I still to this day have not played Death Stranding either. I haven't played it for myself. Um, He was like, bro, all those people on the internet who were saying that like Death Stranding is a walking sim. They either haven't played it and they're echoing everyone else or they played like the first few hours and then stopped playing. Cause he was like, dude, the game like totally changes and picks up a few hours in. Like shit gets crazy a few hours in. He was like, I'm honestly shocked cause I always just heard that this was like a boring ass walking sim. And now it's made me more interested in playing it. Cause I was already like, you know, I, I wanted to play it at some point anyway. But hearing him say that like, <laughs> people are crazy for calling it a walking sim. <laughs> such a lie, it makes me sick. I, I think that he's onto something where like, people just played it for a few hours and then put it down. Like they didn't get to the, the good shit, you know? They dropped it too quick. Cause he, he was saying like, it's just a big slow burn game. Like you just, you have to give it the time and you got to stick with it. And then it really like, it takes off at a certain point. But to be fair to the people who would have dropped it a few hours in, to be fair to those people, do you know what is one of my biggest pet peeves? ever. It's when I'm talking about a TV show with someone. There's a there's a specific one that comes to mind because this one happens a lot. Let's say it's like Better Call Saul, which this is, again, a very specific example, very, very accurate for this one. Where someone will be like, oh my God, have you ever seen Better Call Saul? It's like one of my favorite shows ever. 
and I'll be like, oh yeah, I watched like the first six episodes or so and I couldn't get into it. I thought it was kind of boring. It, it just, it didn't hook me the way Breaking Bad did. As a successor to Breaking Bad, it felt like a letdown and I just, I didn't want to stick with it. And they're like, bro, you got to stick with it because like in season three and on, it's so good. Bitch, I don't want to watch 20 hours of shit that I don't like just so that I can get 20 hours of shit that I will like. Like, if, if it takes 20 hours to get to that point, I'm done. I'm out. I don't care. It's not worth it for me. Like, I'm I'm such a recreational TV watcher. Like, I, I'm so picky with TV and movies. My main thing, JRPGs are one of them for me, where people are like, uh, I'm trying to think of it. Uh, Pokemon. People are always shocked when I'm like, yeah, I'm not really that big on Pokemon. And they're like, really? I'm like, yeah. I, I mean, I was when I was younger, but nowadays, whenever I try to like go back and revisit it, it's just like, eh. And they're like, bro, but like the late game in this game, like they'll bring up a specific one. They'll be like, dude, the, what's it called? What's, what's the, after you do the gym, all, after you get all the gym badges, Something 4. The something 4 that's in, like, every Pokemon game. Someone help me out here. Someone throw me a bone. There's got to be at least one Pokemon fan. I heard you. It's not the Fantastic Four. Good work. You're as good as like the... Said. Someone? Anyone? Any Pokemon fans? Elite Four? That that sounds like it could be it. They'll be like, dude, the, the late game of this is so good, though. And I'm like, bro, I don't want to play Pokemon for that. Like, I don't want to play this game that is not hooking me for like, I mean, how long do you think it takes to get through the, the gyms in Pokemon? 20 hours, maybe? If, if you're not like a, like someone who plays Pokemon all the time. Like if, if you're not, like if you're a casual player, just kind of going into it at a leisurely pace, like 20 hours. I don't want to play 20 hours while I wait for the game to pick up. Especially in a game that's turn-based. Yeah, bro, this is like, this is a preference thing. This is a preference thing for sure. But I'm such a gameplay guy that if you're gonna do turn-based combat, that shit better be great from the start or I am not gonna stick with it. I am such a gameplay and like system-driven guy that just pressing button and seeing numbers happen, I, I need more than that. I need something beyond that. So if you're gonna do that, you better bring like your fucking S-tier uh, adaptation. Like you gotta bring the best you've got. Otherwise, I'm just, I'm out. I, I won't be able to stick with it. Like, Metal Gear Acid's turn-based? Fine for me. You know why? It's unique. It's interesting. Immediately, like, off the bat, I, I've played turn-based games before. I haven't played one that does things the way Metal Gear Acid does things. Metal Gear Acid worked. The, the cost system was great. How the hell did I get a grab? How did I get a chokehold out of that? Hey man, if it works, it works. Oh, the mind detector isn't gonna do shit. You know what? Come here, bitch. Shit. <laughs> maybe, maybe I need to do it without setting off the alarm. I'm realizing. Fight the Elite Four and then the champion all in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck! Mastered the basics of CQC now. Yeah, it works for now. Sure. Check this out. We do some gaming. I'm trying to like do this a super efficient way. If I do get spotted, I'm like, how can I scramble to pick this up? Yeah. 
Oops, 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 oops. Fucking one of them? Come attack me, scaredy cats. Come on. Oh, come on. Going to sleep. Good night, Honicat. We'll see you around. Damn! Damn! I did it. I don't care what he says. Okay. We got a few. At least we're past claymores and grenades. Those ones are going to be the worst ones. Being past those is huge, actually. Now we are absolutely gaming. Excellent snake. You see that? First. Beautiful run. Fire Emblem, maybe. One of my exes really liked Fire Emblem. But I never gave it a shot. She also liked League of Legends and Valorant, so it's not saying a lot, but she did like it. Impressive sink. If there's one lesson that I could pass on to chat, never trust a League player. Never. God. Oh God. Get yourself a nice Tekken player instead. Although, depends what kind of Tekken player. Some Tekken players are just the worst. If you've ever taken a quick browse at like the Tekken community on Twitter, you know. Some of them are just insufferable. I used to be a League of Legends player. At least you've recovered. Recovered it. I don't remember where the, the stairs like on the outside were. Oh, what? I don't need that first one. All right, we're gonna need a reset. I should just run up. I think you actually have to for the fuel. I don't think you can go the whole way. Arcane is amazing. I haven't watched Arcane. I never watched it because it was League. So as much as it was like, oh, video game show that's actually good. I was like, uh... I don't know. So I, I, I'm sure it's fine. Again, I'm picky with my TV and movies, man. Like that shit better be really damn good, especially because I don't 
like League going into it. Like, that shit better be phenomenal. is Kate. I know I, I know some league characters. Who the hell is Kate? girl with the fist? Oh. I thought... Is that her name? I thought it was something else. I could have sworn it was something else. Oh my god, it's all the way down there. Why? Why? V is the... Yeah, okay. I was like, is that... You're as good as they said. A rich sniper who falls in love with punk. Oh. Never heard of Kate <laughs> until now. I don't know what that uh, means, but it's, uh, them's the breaks. Well, all right, check this out. Metal Gear Bowling! Oh my god, I only got half of them. This time. Oh my god, is that one? Okay, I thought the one that stayed up there was gonna live again. Yeah. I was gonna be so pissed. See, Nikita levels, so fast. Easy peasy. Claymores and grenades were absolutely the bad ones. This one, snipers on a time limit could get bad. Hard to say. Why did you only give me five bullets? Was that shaky meds over there? Doesn't really matter if it was. Oh shit. Good work. You're as good as they said. There's a point. Uh where Kate says, what about us? She met the punk for a day. There's more important things right now. I mean, that just sounds like a high school relationship to me. Okay, I got this. Professional sniper right here. Oh, there's, you gotta lead it, I forget. It's so far that you have to lead. Shit. Very professional. Hey, work. you see that? As good as they said. I'm as good as they said. Gets the job done. I don't want to hear it. Can I just do it from here? Please? 
<sighs> Maybe not. Oh shit, there's one over here. Huh, if it works, it works. Oh, wait, that was the third one? I thought there was more than just those guys. Well, my lips are chapped. It's bugging me. It's a very high school relationship. Did I just... I did the same one again. Son of a bitch. Take my life. Take it from me. Ow. Come on. Harder. Uh, things going on are super important. Hey, man. You know what's more important? Love. That's the most important. Oh, shit. This one's going to be a nightmare. It does give me a whole two minutes, though. Shit. Ha ha! Stupid bitch! Where's the next one? I just saw him. Shaky snake, come on. Uh oh. Oh shit. I'm really healthy by loving Metal Gear games and nothing else in my life. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's gonna be hilarious if you ever review the Persona games. Because Persona 3's party members are all controlled... Are all AI controlled only in the PS2 versions? Is that the original version? In a turn-based game, they made the... The companions... What? I thought Persona 3 was supposed to be like the peak of the series. Look, I don't I don't even play JRPGs and I know how terrible of a decision that is. Yeah. Yeah. Although I guess like a lot of modern JRPGs also just put in like autoplay where you don't even have to engage with the turn-based combat or the strategy part of the game at all and the game literally just plays itself outside of like the story bits. Like it basically just makes the game a visual novel. Five is the peak, people just have nostalgia. Oh. Excellent snake. Thank you. Hello, Silver. Arcane does have good love in it. The rest of the relationships are great. Just not the erotic. What? That's the only kind. I, why would I watch? If not for the erotic love. Where's the exit? Aha, uh -huh. good guess. Impressive snake. What's the point of the game if there's autoplay? I don't know, like it's super weird to me that it's kind of becoming like a standard thing 
for a lot of games that have like turn-based comment to just have autoplay because it's like why i think it's more for grinding i think it's there for grinding primarily but a lot of people just use it like to play the game There's a sex scene. Okay, well, never mind. Now I'm good. We, we can watch it. Shit. Just start spamming. Metopia. Too close. Only does basic attacks. Is that true for modern stuff still? I know some people who just autoplay like entire games that have it. And I'm just I'm baffled by it. They don't need to be grouped properly. Just get it done. Spam for the win. It's mostly for when you're fighting weaker enemies. Oh. 73.3. We're down to the special mode. What is one minute battle? What the fuck am I getting into here? Punch and kick to destroy targets. You're shitting me, right? Okay. I'm learning the ways of CQC. My dad passed them to me with his jeans, his soldier's jeans. pretty good at this shit. This is some real intense training. Excellent doing shake. the Mario punch kick combo. <laughs> he was doing it before it was cool, all right? Why did the arena get more intense? Can we just, can we go back? Oh shit. Oh, it's only one bullet. Oh God damn, this is about to get crazy. Shit, auto aim, please. There.
This is stealth gameplay? Yes, sir. People wonder why I say that Sam Fisher might be a sneakier operative than Solid Snake. Like, five of these training exercises have been for stealth. <laughs> the rest are like, what happens when you are suddenly attacked and all you have is a rocket launcher? You need to be ready. Ow. Is Sam Fisher? Uh, main character in the Splinter Cell games. Just put that there. Fucking shit. I want a high score. Oh, that was a juicy one. Oh, come on, that should have been more. Oh, that was a good one too. How's that score? Pretty good. It's, it's on the leaderboard. I'll take it. Use FAMAS to destroy- oh. Oh, I see what we're doing here. Oh, my magazine is so small! False actually recently sent me a link to this, this like former YouTuber who has just completely fallen off. Like we're talking like half a million subs, but less than a thousand views of video kind of fallen off, right? And his channel, like, I feel like his mental state has just completely devolved and his channel reflects it. He's literally, his entire channel, he's becoming a lol cow but like to the smallest community ever. We're not talking like DSP low tier God levels of lol cow. Like a lol cow where only like a thousand people are watching. Like in total, not at one given time, like on live stream, like in total. Um, Where he's just, every video is him like responding to a hate comment for like 30 seconds. And you just sit there and you scroll it and he's uploading them like five times a day. And one of them, when she sent it to me, that was the most recent, was um, him responding to a comment asking if his penis is really that small. And I was just like, bro, you cannot feed the trolls like this. You cannot. Because apparently he said in another video, like one of the questions he answered was, will he ever make an OnlyFans? And he said, no. And they were like, is it really that small that you can't make an OnlyFans? And he was like, yes, it is. It's like the size of a button. I'm not bullshitting, that's what he said. That's, that was actually what he said in the video. He said it's the size of a button and he goes to grab like a remote, for example, like a TV remote for comparison's sake. But then he like burps and throws up in his mouth and he just ends the video without ever grabbing the remote. And I was just like, oh, what, a, what is this? Damn. There's an audience for that though, probably. Mission failed? Bro, I, I got so many. The grenade stuff is too hard for me. <laughs> I think I've just come to the realization that I'm terrible. Um with using the grenades in Metal Gear Solid. Oh! Another one! In VR missions. That's actually, in the base game, I didn't feel like I struggled much with using the grenades. Maybe here and there. 
but not as much as in the VR missions for sure. I might agree with that, that it might be a VR mission specific issue. Why'd they have to make these exercises so hard with the frag grenades? That's really the question, right? Why are they like this? I'll take it. If I don't know what the minimum was. Oh, I didn't. What is TGWTG? Oh my God, my health. size of a button. Oh, I knew what you meant. Minimum was 85. I got like 86. <laughs> no, that, that channel was something else. Hold on, I could probably open it on my phone. This wasn't that long ago. I'm curious like what else he responded to. I only watched a couple of videos. Uh, hold on. Let me see. Here's the link. I found it. That guy with the glasses. Oh, Nostalgia Critics Group. All you had to say was Nostalgia Critic. That, that I got. Um. Oh my god. YouTube. <sighs> Please. It, I, you ever open a link from Discord to like a YouTube channel and you're on your phone and you end up getting the desktop view and it's just it's not made to work on your phone and it's it's a nightmare. Um, do I have a small penis? Do I eat poop? Should I quit YouTube? Am I autistic? Am I gamer word? It's just in this. It, it's just there in the title. Just literally in the. Oh, my God. I'm transitioning to a girl with big titties. Um, what's the channel? I, I can't. I can't out him like that. I, that's enough of that. There's a reason I didn't look at it for that long. It's because you look at it and you're just like, oh my god. Ow! Sorry, my YouTube dashboard is bugging. I don't know what the minimum is here, but I feel like I'm not there. <laughs> Call me crazy. I'm probably not considering how my Claymore trials have gone previously as well. Work. As good ah, as they said. I got it, actually. I got on the leaderboard with that one. How? I, where even is the minimum? Oh, I guess... Well, it's not, the minimum isn't third place because I didn't get third place. I don't know. Apparently you can just get too few. I don't think I can see what the minimum is. There is an invisible minimum score for every single one of these. As long as I don't do as poorly as I did on the grenade one, I don't think I'm likely to find many of them. That seemed to be a special case of skill issue with the grenades. Surprised that you made it. It didn't feel like I was doing very well. I'm actually surprised that I got that one too. This is like whack-a-mole with Nikita's. This is awesome. <laughs> Them like popping up out of the holes in groups 
for you to hit them. With. This is great. They literally made whack-a-mole with Nikita missiles. This is awesome. Am I easily impressed? Maybe. Do I have the mind of a child? Perhaps. But you know what? I'm 21 years old. I'm allowed to have the mind of a child still. Having the mind of a child and making innuendos constantly shouldn't shock anyone. You're as good as they said. And I'm on the leaderboard. What can I say? I'm as good as they said. Sniper time. Is this whack-a-mole with sniper? Hold on, I see what's happening here. More whack-a-mole Oh my god, it's only one pill. Oh no. <gasps> Shit. Oh Jesus. Oh good lord above. I got this. With only one pill, you're not red pilled enough for life. No. I'm like, uh, I'm trying to think. What? Well, red and blue make purple, right, chat? Holy UFOs! At first it was like, okay, there's, there's a few. Oh my God. I think red and blue, I, I'm on the purple pill. I'm totally in the center. Not because I love both of them. I have an equal amount of distaste for both of them. For their own unique reasons. At least here in the US, they both just suck. They're both just kind of the worst. Red and blue is purple. Good. Oh, come on! This one, I have to get one more. This one, the, the leaderboard is the minimum. Oh, it would be yellow pill. I see. I, I like what you're, what you're cooking there. This, it's not a combination of the two. It's a lack of either, so it's yellow. I, I, I kind of like that one. I, I could I could live with that. I could be on the yellow pill. Really though, in the US they're just both the worst. <laughs> I was red pilled until like 2020. And then I realized that uh those red guys without saying, you know, the keyword that's going to blow this up were equally as obnoxious once uh once the tables were turned. I was what? If 25 is third place, how is 25 not enough to pass? What is the minimum requirement here? This shit makes no sense to me. This shit makes no sense. If that ties the third place on the leaderboard, how is that not enough for a passing grade? Oh shit. I just got swept my ass off. Hello, reticles. Oh, I'll go back. 
Oh no. Oh, it works. I was like, I, I didn't have target lock. I thought it was over. So 26 must be the minimum then, right? It would have to be. Come on. Okay, this we've got to be in. No way we're not passing with this one. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, shit. Excellent snake. Well, I went all the way to first, so we'll never know. All right. What is versus... Oh, versus target? No, dude. Here, let's see it. Oh, no. Defeat the enemy in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Wait, this might be more fun. Until we get to grenades and claymores and such, and then we'll see. <laughs> Get fucked. All of yous. Come on. You think I can't take you down? Do I have to knock them off the ledge? I think I do. I kind of just figured if they were, like, knocked out of enough times, it would kill them. But no, it looks like they have to go over the ledge. Ah! Ow, I'm going to die. Oh! 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 What the fuck? I have to live the entire time, too? Oh my god. If it works, it works. CQC, motherfucker. They call me Big Boss. Ow, fuck. Alright, no, I'm running. I'm done. I'm done with you. All of you. I'm done. They lost me. Are you kidding? <laughs> the MGS1 AI, man. It really, it's something special. <laughs> it, it is truly something special. Oh my god, this would work way better. That's probably the main way that you're meant to do it. Damn. Damn. I did it. I don't care. That's a passing grade. Oh, we got a suppressor for this? Dude, this is gonna be the easiest shit. Uh oh. Auto aim, please. Thank you. Uh oh. This is not good. I'm surrounded. What was the minimum on this one? I didn't pay attention, admittedly. position over here. Okay, I'm about to die. Oh, fuck me! <laughs> I, once again, did not read the minimum. I can just hold down the fort up here and probably be fine. What was that noise? Just a box. Fuck. Uh-oh.
Oh my god, get me out. I'm running. See ya, bitches. 16 better be enough. I'm taking you with me. Just in case. Okay, it was enough. Damn. Almost on the leaderboard. Close enough. Oh god. This is where it's gonna get rough. This is where things are gonna get a little tricky. It's a minimum of 10? Oh, hello. Good morning. C4. That was good. Okay, minimum of 10 is not bad. The staying alive part is though. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> MGS1 AI strikes again. Uh-oh. My cover is blown. How is that on the leaderboard? All right. I'm trying to get a B out of my house. <laughs> he could have stayed. He could have just charged him rent. It would have been fine. 20 enemies. Oh, thanks for this. I guess there's no possibility of stealth here. I was like, damn, you're giving me a minute to kill 20 of them? I could, like, go stealth for half of this. Not when you put me in the middle of a square of them. Honestly, the staying alive part is the hardest part of these versus enemy ones. It's not even getting enough enemies killed. It's the whole not dying part of it. Oh shit, fuck. Ah. Okay. I could probably do that better. I hope. Instead of holding the middle, we hold a corner. You see? You see? The strategies, they're coming together. Oh, that was wonderful. That was just a work of art. Ugh. Oh, you heard something? You think? What was that noise? Oh, shit. I was happy to hide in the corner until the end. I could have done that. Now let's at least go for the score. Shit. I killed 30. It didn't count. Oh, see, I was tied with third place. That was a good score. We'll take it. Oh, three enemies? I have a minute? Oh, dude. I can get three in a minute. Check this out. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, fuck. Maybe. Okay, wait, we're good, we're good. Now we live. I'm not gonna push it with the grenades much. I just, I need to complete it and move on. Grenades are probably the hardest to work with in VR missions. Oh, that was sweet though. Can drop them down and run. Uh, you can drop them if you get shot. I know that. I don't think there's a button to drop them, though. Ten 
10 is good. Work. See? As good as they said. 10 is good. Tied for second. The way you run and gun? What? Claymore's... Five enemies in a minute shouldn't be bad. Because also with claymores, all we have to do is this. You see? You see? See, we have five already. Ow. Hey, I picked it back up. Oh, oh, I, I did not want to lay down. Ha ha, ha 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 I'm a slippery bitch. Try to catch me. Never take me alive. Oh my fucking... <laughs> it's a skill issue. It's a skill. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Yeah, come on, chase me down. Out. See you, bitches. Uh oh. I'm a professional. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, the timing, the timing on that one was maybe not the best for me. It's not a good look for a professional such as myself. I can recognize that. Check this shit out. They have no idea. safe and where's not anymore. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's just claymores everywhere. What have I done? Okay. Damn. Damn. That, that, that went perfectly for me. Uh, that went great. Nikita should be a good time. I think. Oh yeah, we're in the center platform. Dude, this will be good. I don't know what my minimum is. It doesn't matter. This will be... It, it's just... It's Nikita food. The execution was amazing. You see me randomly flip that one dude, though, while I was running? I mean, come on. I quickly tucked away the, the claymores and just flipped his ass to get by, that was good. At the very least, that was like the most skillful thing I did. Also, this is incredible. MGS1 AI at its finest right here. It's moments like these that make me love the VR missions. It's this shit right here. It, it's absolutely this shit right here that makes me love the VR missions. <laughs> Their AI is so good, dude. I love this shit. This is awesome. That was amazing. I somehow got in like the perfect spot where they all funneled into one position. 
<laughs> that was awesome. Sniping gallery should be good too. Okay, let's grab my pills. I need them. Let's go to town. Oh, I got four pills for this? Huh? Oh my God, they have no idea what's happening. What was that noise? Huh? What was that noise? Huh? <gasps> what was that noise? Huh? What was that noise? Huh? What was that noise? What was that noise? Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Oh fuck my drugs. Okay, that's good. Victory music. Were you play as Joan of Arc during the Hundred Years of War? But now the English army has demons that Henry VI made a pact with hell. What? Repeating everything everyone says. It's just how you become Snake. That's how you become the greatest stealth operative ever. Although, I don't know. What I saw in MGS3, I think Big Boss might still outclass Solid Snake. Call me crazy. He at least seemed way more competent than Snake does. Although, I haven't played MGS4 yet. But Big Boss definitely, he seemed like he might just be built different. You know, I guess lore-wise, Snake is only like a partial clone. So it could kind of make sense that that's the case. <laughs> Snake grind set. Just every time someone speaks to you, repeat what they said as a question. That's the snake grind set. Like right there, if I was on my snake grind set, I just would have said snake grind set. Versus 12 battle, level one. Choose your weapon wisely. Oh, always think which weapon is best. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, this, I don't have a pistol. <laughs> what is this lineup? <laughs> what? You want me to work with this? I have three Nikitas, three Stingers, 10 Sniper Rounds, and three Grenades. And it's like, yep, kill him. Clear him out. You know what? There's no time limit. Uh-oh. Fuck. Oh my god. Okay. in this game. Um. Um. Wait a second. The time limit is... It's not that there's no time limit. I read it as zero. It's ten minutes. It's 10 minutes. When he starts smiling, knowing the chaos with the beehive, that is a good one. You ever see Snake using his brain like that? I don't think so. 
Fuck your weapon challenge. I'm doing it my way. Uh-oh. I've been spotted. Not good. Beautiful execution snake. Oh god. Oh lordy. Yes, yes, yes. No, I'm dead. Oh my god. I have not seen Secret Theater, no. Um, is it in Snake Eater? The Secret Theater? It might be. I didn't really look at any of like the bonus content after I finished the game, because finishing the game took me like 13 hours. There's a reason that that video, I'm still the schedule is still recovering from the MGS3 video. It, the, the video schedule has not entirely recovered yet from the production of that video. Like, the Acid 2 one is the, the worst in terms of uh, the production timeline so far. But the Acid 2 one was so bad because of, like, a domino effect from the MGS3 video still. Uh oh. Please. Oh, he's alive. Let me have this, man. You fucker. Ha! Beautiful execution. Where's the exit? Get me out. Okay. So that was level one. No. There's eight of them. There's seven more of those. Mystery. It's... It, what? Puzzle. Variety. Oh, sweet Jesus. Isn't this the MGS1 VR mission? I think this is what I had read. Is that if you have the integral version that comes with VR missions, this is the mission that was originally on the MGS1 disc. I think. Wait, what? Look at the leaderboard. Oh, never mind. I thought it said three minutes at the bottom. I was so perplexed for a second. Has something for everyone. Yeah, it's a puzzle game. It's got variety. It's Oh, see, now we're cooking. I can absolutely take out 10 enemies with this loadout. There we go. The VR mission is only in this one? What? I could have sworn that there was something about the integral version specifically being different. <gasps> uh oh. Run into it. I'll take it. <laughs> Stupid bitch. <laughs> 
This one is so much easier than the first one. Oops. It's different, but not that much. No, I think... Uh, sorry, I think that it's different. Um, I think that the VR mission in the base game is different, I'm pretty sure. Impressive snake. I don't know. I could look and see if, if it's on the PC version still, if it's in Integral. I, I can open the actual, like, base game and look. Okay, let's try to stay hidden for longer this time. If at all possible. Because okay. ammo is not great right now. This is like fucking Pac-Man. This is a maze. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Thank you. I just have to wait until MGS2 when the radio system comes back to me. And I can actually save those, like, tiny, tiny fumbles in my stealth. My iframes. Okay. I have a minute. Oh, it, it is four. We got up to 80%. So, like, we... Next Metal Gear stream... We will be wrapping up the VR missions and starting Ghost Babble, probably. Which will be interesting. I haven't played Ghost Babble in, like, three months now. Is it an extra? It's not here. I knew it was different. I knew there was something up with it. It's The VR missions aren't here in the base game EXE. I knew it. Oh my god, the briefing. No, please. Okay, I skipped it. Oh my god, I already listened to the whole briefing. It must... Okay. <laughs> it's not here. Yeah, the, the VR mission just straight up is not in... MGS1 Integral. Or missions? Plural? I don't know. Oh, there's no mi music in here and here. It All right, fine. We'll settle with this. Still haven't finished Ghost Babble. It's good. I would finish it. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy and you haven't done so already, feel free to go ahead and leave a sub. Come back another time. We're doing this. We're doing uh, Armored Core, Ace Combat, uh, Devil May Cry, S Ranks. Oh, we've been playing Ultra Kill for the first time. I've probably got one more stream of that. I think that we're about... I, I think that we were getting into the fifth layer, and there's seven layers. So pretty likely that there's only one more Ultra Kill stream, at least for the blind run. I know there's a couple side modes that maybe I'll mess with. I don't know. And Tekken, obviously. My addiction is still present. <laughs> uh, anyway. Also, if you guys enjoyed and you haven't done so already, feel free to like, stream, blah, 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 algorithm stuff. Uh, if you're looking for links to engage with the community outside of YouTube... Feel free to check out links in the description below. Things like Twitter, uh, Discord servers, stuff like that. It's down there if you're looking for it. Other than that, though, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you always back here next time. I hope you all have a rest of your day. Thank you for coming to the stream, and goodbye. <laughs>